The goal, launch a weekly motivation video series and podcast in 2024 and have 52 episodes in the can. The strategy, script, record, and edit them before Christmas 2023. Problem, it was mid-November and we had no content created yet. The solution, let's record them live. I designed a work week daily live show with video assets that defined a specific segment where I wouldn't take comments, just focus on delivering the motivation for the day. That segment would be clipped out, edited, and be the weekly content for the series. The live show is left up for 48 hours and then unlisted. The edited video is posted to YouTube, LinkedIn, and my Facebook speaker page, while the audio is distributed as a podcast. The results. <laughs> At the time of recording this video, we're 10 away from the goal of 52. We've grown the audio both live and produced, and the content is a major lead magnet for our funnels. I'll share something totally unexpected and awesome that happened to us in the full video. So here we are looking at the actual playlist for the live show, the live version of this particular podcast, which is called Morning Motivation and Media. So the live version is longer. 53 minutes, 100 uh, hour and seven minutes, 54 minutes, 58 minutes, 49 minutes, 35 minutes. They're longer. They're longer. Um, and so in this live experience, you can see we've got 41 videos already. So we're just just under just over 10 away from 52, which gives us one per week for the entire year. So this strategy is working. Morning Motivation and Media is the name of the live experience. And I'm going to scroll all the way down. You can see even from the beginning, there's these are getting good views, even as unlisted videos, even as an unlisted playlist. Um, only those who come live actually know where the playlist is might have a link in the description. <laughs> but yeah, these are these are the videos. And if we take a look at the, the videos, I do have, I do add chapters to the videos after uh, the videos are done. I do go back through and edit the title of the video. So with, during that 48 hours where it's available for replay, the video does have a, a title that will draw an audience and I get a chance to play with the title a little bit to see how it works with the audience on YouTube. And then I can use that title because now it's unlisted. I can use that title for the produced video later on. And so you have here, are there two types of regret? Things done and things not done? Mm. So this is a question that, you know, kind of stirring the pot a little bit. You can see here, this is the countdown section right here countdown and you can see here this is the video starts um i'm just kind of greeting the guests and stuff you can see um george canellis is saying your show starts my day <clears throat> in a positive way but this is what i want you to see um i'm going to actually go forward a little bit this clip is what signifies to the audience to myself and especially the video editors that the morning motivation is about to begin once I play that clip, once I play that bumper video, <clears throat> I am focused now on delivering value. And so from here, I put another timestamp right after that clip is done. That's that's in the in the chapter markers. And that part is now called today's quote. You can see that right here at the bottom today's quote. That's the chapter that we're in now. And from that point at today's quote, um, maybe for the next 10 or so minutes, this is the video from this point all the way up until right there. Press the button again, the, the clip. This is a different uh, bumper video. Leads me into the media portion. It's morning motivation and media. So it leads me into the media portion of the show. And then we do a little bit of a recap, but that is the video. And so my editors know, okay, for, at this, from this clip to this clip, Let's take that out and that becomes the video. And so what, how does that end up looking? So I want to show you, these are some of the assets that we use, I use in Ecamm to live stream morning motivation and media. You can see the countdown. You can see the gear recommendations. Um, you can see the morning motivation piece. 
title and logo. There's some music that my my uh, team has given me here as well. There's the intro video. I don't even really use that that much. I'll be honest with you. Oh, I don't really use it. I just use the countdown. But these are some of the assets. But this now is the edited video. And you can see we're on video number seven. Um, and I think this, uh, at the time of recording this, at video number six, <clears throat> just released so video number seven is the one that we would be releasing next week and we're just editing them as we go but we have 40 plus videos now and so you can see this looks different than the video when it was recorded live doesn't have the overlay doesn't have the the morning motivation media stuff on there and and then this also has some call outs uh some some memes some different things there's dynamics there's moving in moving out uh, and it really allows for a very i would say produced experience for the morning motivation standalone video and so that's how that is done and that's how it's produced and and the sound effects that are used in this video um all of that is then captured from an audio perspective and we drop that into captivate and we push that out to all of the different platforms and of course you know my my headquarters on the world wide web is howitallworks.com and so on this page now you see defeated versus defeated this is the latest uh morning motivation video so you could is potentially watch the video right here and it's right there but in addition to that you can actually see or listen to the video on spotify and you can watch it um on youtube and here is the playlist so this how it all works page will take you can watch it here if you want to but you can also listen on spotify you can watch on youtube and that's how we distribute it there's there it is on spotify uh, it's also on apple it's on google i just happen to have the spotify link on my page the idea is th that they, these are all here and again they're on linkedin and on my speaker page on facebook so that's the distribution of it that's the strategy of it and the thing about a, a solo podcast is that you don't you know there's no interview to there's no guest to interview so there isn't so focus of ensuring that the guest is able to share their value there's no focus on ensuring that the guest can kind of tell the audience a little bit about themselves or where people can find them and follow them solo uh, podcasts are really set up for you as the creator to just boom deliver value i i want you to know that in these videos i don't even say my name i don't <laughs> i just i just go right for value and it is awesome to just be solo podcasting is in my opinion it's hard to be it's really hard to be i'll share later which one is my favorite but it's hard to be it's really hard to be but yeah you have you have these all here and you can see even from the views on these that it's it's it's, it's actually doing well it's actually doing well so that's those are some of the pieces that is what my strategy has been to go live uh but have this dedicated segment in the live show right in the middle that allows me to be able to deliver value and once i have that piece done once i've delivered it now i have my notes and everything once i've delivered that it's almost like recording in front of a live audience you remember that that phrase we used to hear from you know different tv shows and whatever else this was recorded in front of a live audience remember that <laughs> the fresh prince of bel-air the cosby show several others you had this live audience type of feel and there's something about delivering that those lines delivering that content in front of a live audience that just made it a little extra special well i'm literally bringing that same concept back here to this solo podcast scenario in my design for this particular podcast i'm able to bring a live audience in even though i don't pause to talk to them but there is a whole live experience and so what we're seeing now is people coming from watching the produced experience right they're watching these and realizing hey these are live and so they start showing up in the morning at 6 a.m when i do the live show and then then that's when they're able to actually find out where the replays are and then they're going through and binge watching these as well so we're seeing this cyclical process uh almost two bangs for the buck if you will because i have the live experience and the produced experience and people want both this is what we've learned thus far and there's still so much more to learn
The whole point of recording this live was to ensure it got done. <laughs> D-O-N-E done. We had no idea that going live at 6 a.m. would garner a crowd of 30 to 40 people live, launch our YouTube membership, and open up guest speaking opportunities literally all over the world. Both the live audience and the audience that watches the produced video and or listens to the podcast are growing. Of the three type of podcasts, solo, in-person, interview, and online interview, this one is my unexpected favorite. If you missed the previous two videos detailing my process for the other types of podcasts, check them out in this playlist right here. There's uh, two videos there for the in-person and the online interview uh, formats for podcasts. Check them out in this playlist. I go over all my process for both of those formats in this playlist. Check it out right now.